Hi, I'm Jennifer Lyon Bell, and I'm the founder of Blue Artichoke Films. And as you might have noticed, we have a film now that's different than all the others, and it's called Second Date. And Second Date is different because it's a virtual reality film. More specifically, it's a VR 360 degree immersive experience. So you might be wondering, what is VR? VR is a interactive, computer-generated experience where a whole new world is created all around you. And it can be something very realistic, like a kitchen or a street, or it can be a fantastical world uh, with like dinosaurs. Those are made completely inside a computer. The realistic ones are made with special cameras with many, many camera pieces all over them. But no matter how it's made, um, the important part about VR is that it's interactive. And what that means is that your movements in real life become part of the experience of watching the movie. You feel as if you're inside a different world. And when you move your head, say, like this, what you see actually changes with your head. Now, it may not sound very exciting, um, but even though it's subtle, this effect is incredibly powerful. And the reason that this interactivity is so powerful has everything to do actually with the way that you as a human being perceive things in real life. So in a real experience like this, where I'm sitting in a room, my brain is doing two things. First of all, um, my body can tell how I'm situated in the world, whether I'm turning. And it does that through things like my inner ear. And then also I'm getting information in my brain from my two eyes. They have slightly different image in each one and my brain takes that, combines it with the information about my placement and gives me the feeling that I'm situated in an actual room. Now funnily enough, you can experience the same thing now with the power of your smartphone. So your smartphone has in it a gyroscope and the gyroscope tells it how it's situated in space. And it calculates that information uh, very smoothly and very fast. And when you normally look at a phone, right, you see one image, one flat image. But now it's possible to have specially made virtual reality video players where um, it takes the information of this whole world of the created new space and when you press a button in the video player, it splits into two images, just like you would see in your two different eyes. And although there's lots of kinds of uh, virtual reality headsets, they all have one thing in common, is they have a glass or plastic set of little lenses. And those lenses interpret the two images, they bring that into your brain, and they combine that with the information from the phone about how your head is located. And all together, it creates a feeling for your brain like you're in this other world. So it's subtle, but it's actually incredibly powerful um, once you've had a chance to experience it. So I'm going to show you the two most popular virtual reality headsets because they both work great with Second Date and I want to show you how easy it actually is. So this is my Google Cardboard and you might have heard the name before because it's a classic, it's one of the first and it's still fantastic. So it's cheap, it's only like $10, maybe $15 at the most and it's really easy to use. So you open it up with Velcro. You put it together, and voila, you have a virtual reality viewer. Now, the way this works is you take your phone and you put it inside. That's the great thing about the Google Cardboard, is that you can use any kind of phone. So you can use an iPhone, you can use an Android phone. It can be small, it can be big, mine is quite big. Um, but it doesn't attach to the Google Cardboard itself. You just tuck it in and it fastens in there securely. And if you've set it up correctly, all you have to do is just look through it and you can see. Now the Google Cardboard, um, there are now thousands of brands of the same thing. Some of them are cardboard colored, some of them are colored, there's even plastic ones. But the important thing is that you can use almost any phone in it and it doesn't really attach to anything, it just sits securely in there. Another very powerful um, virtual reality device, very popular, 
um, is the one that we actually created Second Date for, and that's called the Samsung Gear VR. And this is an even more powerful experience than the um, Google Cardboard for two reasons. One is that the phone actually connects into the device itself. So there's a, there's a hole here, and it fits into a jack here. And now there's a really powerful connection between the two. Um, so that means you can actually look at a higher, uh, a higher resolution of second date using that. Um, it is true that the Samsung Gear VR requires you to have a Samsung phone. So you can't use just anything in it. You have to use uh, a Samsung phone that's appropriate for, for the Samsung Gear VR. Um, but it's a wonderful experience if you already have one or are considering getting one. Um, there's also a new generation of devices, and an example of that is the Oculus Go that basically look like this, but there's no phone. So they've taken all the technology that was in the phone, um, its ability to um, tell where you are and to create a split image, and they've put it in the device itself. So as long as you can charge it up and somehow go online, then any virtual reality film that you can find online and watch online, you can watch in your Oculus Go or similar. And all of these work great with Second Date. So just wanted to show you how easy it was to, to get started with virtual reality.